up what nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for hunter hunter chapter 361 oh my god it's been a, about a year since we got our last hunter hunter chapter i am so freaking stoked right now anyway last chapter of hunter hunter we learned about the parasitic nen and um, we're going to the dark continent and oh Oh good. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. And look at this cover. There's my baby on the cover. <gasps> I love Karapika, okay? I love him. Uh, here we go. The boat is traveling into the uh, sea of chaos and this chapter is called Withdrawal. Oh, Takashi, I missed you. I missed you, Takashi. Oh man, come on. Here we go. The assassin, uh, assassin's dagger attacks. <gasps> oh my god, this first page. It has my baby in action. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, <laughs> Karabi got flipped him over. Bill, those three methods you mentioned earlier. Um, well, we need um, uh, Satrid here to withdraw from the succession battle. Uh, Carton was the um, one we really needed being a conjurer type. He could transform into a boat or vehicle that would be able to carry at the, at the most five people. That is so freaking cool. Though being a joint type, he would have required the aura of other people. What is your type and ability? I was free, so it asked me a favor. And like, this parasitic nun, and I was going to do a separate video on this, but screw it, I'm not. I'm going to talk about it right now. Parasitic nun to me reminds me in a way of parasite and also in a way of um of uh shit the uh frenzy frogs from uh jagon and i'm curious if it kind of reminds you of them as well uh, you nerdigans of them as, of it as well but anyway um without his explicit approval i cannot just tell you what his ability is on my own this is an emergency situation here. I'm asking you so I have the information. I need to solve this as quickly as possible. Or was all that you said about ensuring the safety of the king and queen just a bunch of lies? Satrid is an emitter nen user. Though his ability is probably closer to manipulators, he launches his nen out in a ball and then is able to control any bugs that he captures with it. I see. That just may be of use. That actually might because the bugs if they're small enough, might be able to counter the um, parasitic nen. Oh, there he is. There it is. Whoa, what? There's a needle at the end of his chain. I don't think I've seen that. I don't think we've ever seen that before. That is so freaking cool. I want you to leave one out leave one out why <gasps> we're going back to graphics cha training here we go it's gonna be interesting i'm fully in favor of, uh, of your idea of having chains on each of um each one of your fingers and assigning different powers to each of them but i just get uh the feeling that with those chains you're trying to get up um to set up a situation where you can fight all on your own what's wrong with that question what is wrong with that in a battle of nen the most important person principle is that if your opponent has many on its um on his side then you must as well combining powers to attack and synergy between abilities far exceeds the strength of any individual's power well i suppose once you actually fight you'll know what i mean but by then it will already be too late which is why i'm giving you this warning now but it doesn't look like you'll accept it so instead i propose a compromise if when you fight for real, you feel as though there's something you lack, then you should add an ability that will compensate for it. And you're sure this is what you want? I don't, in, I don't take you for the kind of person who would be satisfied, even if they failed, as long as um, they were doing what they felt was right. You're more of the kind that would go um, over every single option to ensure they had uh, selected the best one possible to achieve their goal, aren't you? If you want to go to, um, sorry, if you plan to uh, go to war against a group of A-rank bounties, then cast your personal feelings aside and find yourself some allies. I'm fine with allies. 
You mean you're fine with collecting pawns? You can just sacrifice when convenient? <laughs> He's right. <laughs> he's right. But but he's not talking about. But no, Karabika has al. Well, I think Karabi could considers allies and friends different. <laughs> that's why. But that's just my opinion. But that's not what I'm talking about. This is also something you'll only learn once you fight alongside allies. In, indeed, it's all exactly as you said it would be. Progressing forward like this was hardly a simple task. But that's why I want the strength to fight on my own all the more. Though, oh, there's Kitty Kalua. Oh my God, this is this chapter is making me so happy right now. Cause first of all, this is a Krovka chapter, and then we see a little flashback of little Kitty Kalua, and it's so, it's so cute. Um, the reality isn't isn't all that um, isn't all that simple. Uh, steel chain, um. Huh. There's a translation out that it said it's written as thieving index finger chain. But ooh, interesting. What in the world? I'm gonna borrow Satrid's net ability temporarily. <gasps> oh my god, that is so cool. So he could take he could borrow net abilities temporarily. That is bomb. If I keep sucking out his aura with a syringe, a syringe like this, I can even put him into a state identical to Zetsu. This is freaking cool! Steel chain is the goddamn shit. Or, or, um, or thieving index chain. But I'm gonna go with steel chain, because that's bomb. Um, if the Nem beasts were up against our paras parasite types that requires the aura of their host, then whatever, um, then whatever the Nem beast put into Saturn may also be a parasite type. In which case, if the aura it's feeding on disappears, then it should either exit his body or disappear altogether. That is a brilliant strategy. My baby is so goddamn smart. I love you, Karapika. You are amazing. Um, and and what if it doesn't leave? If hostile evil um evil Nen continues to assault him, well, he says stay a uh, state of Zetsu. Then Sarids, I said Sarids. Sorry, Sarid's. I know I'm going to get shit from the comment section. And Sarid's mind and body would be destroyed. The safety of the queen and royal heir are of the utmost uh, priority. If those worries and misgivings ha um, you're having should become reality, then the information we gain can be used to create more countermeasures against them. If I should be, um, if I should be the next to die after this, that's how uh, you must think as well, Bill. Of course, if you uh, should be taken down by a different Nen beast, then I would do the um, the same thing in order to gain new information. Oh, there it is! Oh man, there it is! Oh god, that is so creepy. That parasite. I think this is the first time we've seen the parasite Nen, um, like in its true form. But oh my god, that thing is creepy as fuck. It looks like a zombie teddy bear meets tarantula. Holy shit! And so geeky. Index finger, um, emperor time. Whoa! Equip stolen power. Equip completed. Analyzing. Stolen ability's name is Little Eye. This is just so freaking cool. Oh my god. This and Karafika's, I love this. Karafika's got a new power and we got to see a flashback. This is so good, and we get to see the parasitic Nen, and we get to see this in action. That's even bomb. Um, the ability to control any small living beings caught in its uh, ball-shaped Nen, and it's written as um, uh, as black or hold on, it's written as back widow. That's what it is. However, this does not include living beings conjured by Nen, so I can't use it to hijack the enemy's ability. That Nen beast just now has the power to control people using the keyword free. That kind of, in a way, it's kind of like Yu Yu Hakusho and Yu Yu Hakusho in the sense we are when um, we met Kato and he had his ability of um, of taboo. Remember when you said the word hot, you lost your soul? It kind of feels like that to me. Um, but if that requires the condition of being able to hear the voice of the Nen beast, then that ability won't work on the princes who aren't Nen, us users, uh, Nen users to begin with. 
Um, please search for an appropriate small living being to use retry on. Since the ability has been activated, as long as I am released, um, as long as I'm not released, uh, Emperor Time will be forced to, um, continue. Emperor Time has been active for, I know, go on standby for a bit. That's so cool that it can fucking talk. That is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, acknowledged, uh, Bill, I think he should be all right now. Please tie Sarah to a chair. If I'm still butchering the name, you can bitch about it in the comment section, but whatever. After I spoke with that huge stuffed animal looking thing, this other smaller one latched into me, into me and was just constantly asking me, Are you free? Somehow it seemed only Nen users could see it. God, now this is really making me think of um, uh, Natsumi Yujin Chao with uh, the Ayakashi. Uh, I tried telling it I'm not free, get lost, over and over, but it didn't do a damn thing. Until finally, fine, I'm free now, what the hell do you want? As soon as I said that, I no longer had control over my own body. Sounds like something an Ayakashi would do too, or yokai. After that, um, where's the murderer? The Kaken army will be taking custody of, um, and questioning him if you would hand him over. Karapika, what's happening with my powers? They're still in here. And then I'd like to, um, and then I'd like you to keep them and hang on to them as much as I would love to. As soon as that, um, I use them once, they automatically re automatically return to the original owner. So that's so that's how his power works. Karapika's power works. Not only does it, um, you have Emperor Time on there that uh, analyzes the um, the Nen, but you also, but the catch is, is that you can only use the power once and then the aura returns to the Nen user. That's interesting. Like, I'm curious how many different auras Karapika can have in there at once. If it's only in the uh, steel, if the steel chain can only absorb like one at a time or like multiple. I'm really curious about that. Uh, I see. Then in that case, let me explain a little, a little more about it. The largest creature that my power can control is about the size of a hamster. Even if it, um, that creature is in a different place from you, you will gain any information that it sees or hears. That is freaking cool. I hate that it's bugs, but that's pretty damn cool. Uh, being inconspicuous, you would think that you would think flies and mosquitoes would be good candidates, but they have many natural predators and often die to other bugs. Also, the one use you mentioned may also count. Uh, uh, failure to capture something, so be careful. Even I have trouble capture, um, capturing quicker, more nimble creatures sometimes. Please make good use of it. Uh, use it to find the real culprit. Um, I don't think that we can possibly endure any more of this. We do not care if we're arrested by the military or even banished, but please make this stop. It's only been two hours since we left port, so now we have a time frame here as well. It's been two hours since we left port. I forgot how much that boat looks like. I know it's, I think it's supposed to be a whale, but it really looks like a chop off. <laughs> um, and the 11 bodyguards are down to a mere two. You were in the middle of your explanation, but for the remaining two methods, are they still going to be possible without Cardon? Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm yawning. It's four in the goddamn morning. Deal with it. Yes, but one of them is extremely difficult and requires the cooperation of Paris, Pariston. The other is even more difficult and requires the cooperation of um, Master Beyond. Is Prince Mimose's uh, protection really sufficient? Now we're in the Prince Residential Area, Section 12. Oh my god, this chapter has a lot of good stuff. Quit being so noisy. She's already got six bodyguards. That's plenty. Um, I'll just end up scaring him all the more. I want to make sure he's calm and feels comfortable. Besides, Miriam's protection is more important than hers. Come, um, than hers. Come here. Is that really okay? She can hear you. But what about our contract with Prince Momose? It's fine. I only made the contract for Mara, Mara's anyways. Don't worry. I'll p still pay you. So then, is it okay if we go? Of course. Momose can look after herself, right? Yes, mother. Don't worry about me. You guys can go relax in the room next door. I'll be fine. Thank you very much for your consideration, but this is our mission, so if you don't mind, I feel sorry for mother and, um, Mariam. Um, is that so? Well, thank you for your hard work. People without even the capacity to be king. Um, I haven't even done anything today, but I feel totally, I, I feel totally pooped. What's wrong with me having to go through that much hassle and worry? Um, what about the prince's food? Nobody else is here. We're going to have to make it. Um, uh, who else? Well, you're amazing. Well, I've got to um, hold on. I want to make sure. Okay. 
Uh, Master Hulkenberg, it, it is time to take your leave. Well, then... Uh, mm. Well, then excuse me. I look forward to the next dinner party. Master Hockenberg, Hockenberg? I'm just saying goodbye to my father. Excuse me. It appears my son has some, uh, something to, to um, discuss in private, We Well, we can discuss the investment another time. What is it, We? I'm withdrawing from the succession battle. I only participated in the ceremony. Uh, whoa. Is that a parasitic nun? What is that? I only participated in the ceremony to save a uh, face for you, Father. I don't need a crown through bloodshed. Ho, ho, ho. Do as you wish. A maelstrom, does he want this or doesn't he? This chapter, just like last year when we got chapter 350, it, this year it started, it, Hunter, Hunter started off with a bang. And this chapter was so freaking good. We got to see Karapika's new power, or... A power that he's kept hidden from us. Um, we get to see why he kept it hidden. We got to see it in action, and um, we got to learn about another uh, another person's nun as well, and how Karapika is going to use it. And we got to see the parasitic nun as well, like the actual true form of the parasitic nun, which I thought was really really cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about this chapter in the comment section. Like, what do you think was on the prince's shoulder? It looked like a... Because we're looking for the beast nen users. Do you think this one has something to do with the parasitic nen? Or... Um, and with that, that would mean either the, this prince here has... has um, has nen and is being controlled by the parasitic nen. Or do you think this beast is a completely different thing than the parasitic nen? I'm really curious about that about your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Um, and also, my other question for you guys, what do you, how many auras do you think Karapika's steel chain can hold? I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think it's one, or do you think it's more than one? Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel, friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!